What's going on guys, it's Liam here with Muscle Cook TV and I'm going to take you guys through a delicious meal prep recipe. It's chicken on the menu again here, but I could not share this recipe with you. It's a beautiful garlic lemon chicken with some rosemary through it. It takes two minutes to prepare, throw it in the pan or you can throw it in the oven, it's completely up to yourself. But this one hits all the taste buds perfectly, it's absolutely delicious. So what you're going to need in this recipe is you're going to need some low fat Greek yogurt, you're going to need some lemons, some garlic, a good source of chicken breast, some rosemary and good quality salt and pink Himalayan sea salt. All right, so we're gonna to get together now and get prepping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm firstly gonna prep the marinade. Now the marinade is just simply some lemon juice, some minced garlic and really finely chopped rosemary. All right, so what we're gonna do with that is we're just gonna add it all into a bowl and mix it around. So what we'll do first guys is we'll do the lemons. What you want to do with the lemons just so you can get more juice out of them is you want to give them a roll, all right? So roll them just a little bit and it just separates all the juices inside, so when you come to squeeze it, you get so much more. So there we go. Now, when you're squeezing it, guys, pop your hands here and just let the juices come through your fingers just so you're not getting any of the pifts in your, in your lemon juice into the sauce, all right? Just squeeze it. That's a brilliant lemon. All this juice coming out, look at that. Perfect, so the juice of one lemon. Perfect, okay. Now, lemon juice done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our garlic. Now, if you don't have a garlic crusher, it's totally fine. Just chop up your garlic nice and fine, add a little bit of oil, and then scrape it down. If you go into YouTube and type how to mince garlic, you'll find it, we've got one on our channel. So, pop it in here, this is nice and easy. Press in the garlic crusher, and squeeze that, and you get perfect garlic every time. Squeeze it in. So, two cloves of garlic. Now to that, we're going to add a little drizzle of olive oil, just a little drop, we don't want too much. And then we're going to go for about a tablespoon of faggy Total Zero yogurt. Now with this yogurt, it doesn't need to be this brand, but it's a really good one. This is really high in protein. So one tablespoon and we'll see how we get on. If you do need to add a little bit of more yogurt, that's totally fine. So we'll go for one heaped tablespoon of yogurt. We want to chop up the rosemary. This rosemary is really, really fragrant. Brilliant, brilliant herb. So we'll just take a couple of sprigs of this. What I want you to do first is I want you to take the leaves off of the stick, all right? So you just push it down. So pushing these against the stem, we'll just bring them right off, peel it off. Push the stems away, and then what we're gonna do is initially chop into them. And it's gonna be quite tough. It's quite a tough, woody herb to begin with. But once you get past the initial toughness, and you can start cross chopping now guys, this is just going to get it extra, extra fine. Take about a tablespoon of the rosemary, pop that in, and just discard the rest, just pop it to the side. Now what we're going to do now is we're just going to mix this together. So, as you can see here, we've got the yogurt, the rosemary, the garlic, the lemon juice, and the oil. So you just want to mix this round and this just becomes the most delicious marinade you've ever had on chicken. It's so, so good. Now what we'll do to that is we're gonna season it. So some pepper, some sea salt, and a little crushed red chili as well. So pop that in. To cut the chicken, we want to cut it into even slices. We're gonna cut this and then cook it in the pan, just for speed, just because it's a lot quicker in the pan. But you can cook it in the oven, and that's just gonna let it all come together as well. But when you're cooking it in the pan, one chicken breast is totally fine. So we've got a good even sized chicken breast here and we're just gonna cut it into even strips. Pop it in and then you're just gonna marinate the chicken and all the, look, oh, look at that beautiful marinade, just get right all over it. You want to get all in about it. Now the thing is guys, with the lemon juice, you don't need to leave it that much because of the acidity. You don't need to leave this in the fridge overnight or anything, maximum. 20 minutes, half an hour is totally fine. When you're using a more acidic based marinade in the fridge for about 20 minutes, half an hour is fine because you don't want the acidity to come too much into the chicken. We've got some a little bit of olive oil into the pan. Now you don't need too much because you've got oil already in the marinade. And what we want to do now is we just want to cook this off. Now you don't want to dollop it all in with all the marinade in it either. You just want to put each chicken breast in, at a, each piece of chicken breast in at a time and just let it fry off in a medium heat. Don't go too hot. We don't really want to sear this and get that color because of the marinade. We want to kind of keep as much moistness and juiciness as possible. So we'll keep that there. And then once this is ready, we're gonna serve it up with some basmati rice, a little bit of yellow bell pepper, some tender stem broccoli, just my favorite accompaniments. And then we'll get it right into our Tupperware and that's gonna be an amazing meal prep. The thing you can do with this guy, I'm just showing you this with one chicken breast. 
You can do this with two, three, four chicken breasts completely up to yourself. But like last week's recipe, this is an ideal recipe for you guys to have in your Tupperware for lunch. So we'll just let that pan heat up a little bit and then we'll get the chicken breast in. Right, okay guys, so that's the pan up to heat. So when you're lifting the chicken breast out, just get a little bit extra marinade on your spoon, that's totally fine. And just pop it on. And you're gonna get some good, perfectly cooked chicken in it. Oil there, that's ideal. All you need to do is just keep an eye on it. And it should take maybe 10 minutes just to cook. So just keeping it evenly distributed, guys and cooking it, and then that sauce is just going to keep, kind of, it's going to cook along with it, so it'll thicken up slightly, just keep an eye on it, so just keep the chicken there, don't touch it for maybe two minutes, then flip it over and just keep an eye on it, and that will cook away perfect. So what I'm going to serve this with guys, is I've already got some basmati rice prepped ahead of time, if you want to know how to cook the basmati rice perfectly, go to last week's video, and I'll show you a little step by step how to get the perfect basmati rice every single time. So what we'll do guys, is we'll come away from this just now, and I'll show you if I'm flipping the chicken over. And there we go guys, you've got your garlic and lemon meal prep chicken here. It's absolutely delicious, a brilliant addition into your meal prep and I really hope you recreate this one. I've just put the broccoli in raw with the raw bell pepper so when you come to reheat this, it's not going to overcook and go that mushy way. Put raw veg in with it or you can put your frozen veg in as well and when you come to cook it for 2-3 minutes in the microwave, it's going to be ideal and perfectly cooked and you'll get that vibrant green colour from the broccoli instead of that kind of off horrible green colour and it's all mushy. So there you go guys, that's this week's meal prep done there. I hope you've enjoyed that. Like, as always, down in the comment section below, let me know what else you want, let me know other recipes or anything that you want me to do for you and I'm here to help you guys. Tune into our Facebook Lives every single Tuesday. I do a Facebook Live cook along where I take your uh, recipes that you want me to cook and I'll just do them for you. I'll pick one at random or one that's the most popular, get it recipe tested throughout the week and I'll cook it for you guys on live. So what else to check out? Go down into the description box below, check out our 5x5 cookbook. If you're just starting out, 55 recipes, 5 ingredients, only takes 5 minutes to cook. It's a great little cookbook, go and check that out if you're interested. Also, if you're interested in some one-to-one -one coaching, we've got our website mlpln.com that's also in the description box below where you can get in touch with me. We can have a chat and we can put together your own personal cookbook and meal plan and do some coaching for you if you want to build muscle if you want to drop fat it's all there for you and you can have a look at that so the cookbook's there there's your recipe i've really enjoyed cooking this for you this week guys i'll see you next week enjoy mm -hmm.